Hello and welcome to another episode of Quiacus Plays Space Hulk Ascension Ultramarines Edition. Now, if you were with me last time, then we left the enemy with no chance to escape and no hope of survival and destroyed their stasis pod launchers. And now we are going to tackle the escape. So, we're going to dive right in here, take squad Cicero and see what harm we can cause. Advancing through any unexplored area of the Space Hulk is dangerous. Gene Sealers can be lurking around any corner, waiting to strike. Continue onwards and move into the next sector, and eliminate any Gene Sealers who get in your way. Hmm. So that's the case, hey? So let's have a look. Deploying here, there's our exit, there's our crate, so I'm guessing there's a path here. Got a T-section here. We're going to come down this way and then push straight on through to the other side. Alright, let's deploy our librarian first. Okay, we've got a spawn point up there. Move up our full movement and open that door. There we go. The rest of this squad. Just Gently deploy them into the area. I'm going to put him on it, Flavius on an overwatch, just in case. I don't think anything can make it to that door in one turn, but you never know. But made it to the door, didn't get through it, thankfully. Around the corner. Really, there's a gene sealer down there that we can't see. So we're going to step once more. Oh, good lord, there's a lot of gene sealers there. We didn't get our free shot. That's curious. I wonder if the Chaldean bolter doesn't give you that free shot. Never mind. Um, we are going to go on to one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go on to Overwatch and hope that we can get rid of them. Or we could just burn them alive, couldn't we, with Flamer? That might be an idea. Move these guys up. Let's see how far we can get with them. Uh, yeah, Seneca. Deploy Promethean Brother. Purge the Xenos. Barbecue. That's all I have to say. These guys are going to step in. Felix. Uh, Flavius can't go on to Overwatch, but never mind. The rest of the squad can. There we go, Nero and Flavius covering the rear there. <clears throat> Much to the chagrin of those dirty aliens. Move up to this intersection and wait for the rest of the squad to form up on us. Now, Nero, unfortunately, is going to have to be doing a lot of work this episode. Get him to here and then turn him back. Okay, and onto Overwatch. He's got a lot of work actually ahead of him. Here we are going to we're going to leave it for now. Hopefully we can kill this Gene Sealer without too much hassle. I can get two shots at it. So we should get our sustained fire bonus. Oh good lord. Oof. Thank goodness for power, uh, force axes, hey? That was close. How the heck did that happen? <clears throat> Never mind. That's one extra melee kill for Brother Cicero. Shouldn't have needed it, though. Should not have needed it. Uh, we move to here and go on to Overwatch. With Felix, reload. Move Flavius up. We've got to move Nero back once. Back twice. Then onto Overwatch. Not got much, many shots left though, has he? So what we're going to do is we're going to dump a force barrier here to protect him. And we're take him off Overwatch. Reload his bolter. And I'm going to leave him facing that way, I guess. 
guess we can put a proximity frag mine there. <laughs> no. They'll give something a nice surprise. Sadly, it'll only kill one Gene Sealer, but hey ho. Uh, put our librarian onto Overwatch and reload his Storm Bolter. I should turn our Flamer around because I don't want a free kill on him in case uh, Felix misses. But of course, Brother Felix isn't going to miss. Beautifully done, brother. We're going to deploy another force barrier uh, to frustrate the aliens there. Just keep them at bay for a little while longer while we move through. Let's see what this is. Is it going to be a relic or is it going to be a bonus? It's a relic! Waha! Plus three for ammunition! Mmm, yummy! We have a relic flamer now. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I wonder if they can get through there. We'll find out in a minute. That's brilliant news. We actually got a weapon upgrade. Oh, one of my favorite weapons as well. Not often that happens, is it? Let's just see how far we can get with Nero. Yeah, so we can do this. Set Overwatch. Set Overwatch. And then we can put a Force Barrier in this square next turn. Nero, yep, that's it. With Nero being kind of okay. Keep pushing forward. Gonna just leave it like that for now. Not brilliant, I don't like leaving doors closed in front of me normally, but we don't have any gene sealers in range. So it's not really an issue this turn. Take him off Overwatch, keep pushing forward. We're gonna push fully forward with Nero now. And then we are going to force barrier this point behind us. And then actually with Felix, we're going to turn here and go to Overwatch. And Flavius is still being kind of useless. Never mind. He'll have his day, I'm sure. <laughs> you suck, Gene Sealers. And it wouldn't be a mission without deploying some Promethium, would it? So. Let's see, let's use a long shot, and we should be able to... Yes! Brother Seneca, purging the alien. And this turn, we're going to push... Uh, actually, this turn, da -da -dum, we're going to put another force barrier here, just to frustrate them. And then we're going to push forward as far as we can. Which isn't going to be far because, of course, Brother Seneca used his flamer. Hmm. Okay. And we have a spawn point on the flank there. That's not too bad. Safe from behind, we're going to turn and overwatch just in case something tries to get up this corridor. Let's just see what we can see here. Good, 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 good. Okay. Wow, just as well we did, wasn't it? Look at that. Okay, move them. Our Terminator's up. And we are going to block off this route behind us again. And we're going to turn to face the alien this turn. Let them come. And they shall fall to the hill of our bolters. Okay, now keep moving forward. I changed the marching order here a little bit. And I think you all know why. Weapon at the ready. Ah yes, it's time for that immortal phrase. Brother Seneca. Deploy Holy Prometheum. Purge the Xenos. And boom. Down they go. Just like that. Okay, and then actually we can 
deploy a force barrier here. That's going to peel off that alien. And we can march a little bit further forward, can't we? Look at that, see? Exit is in sight. These guys forward a little bit. Advance, Three AP left. Two AP to there. Okay, so what we're going to do is bom, 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 bom. we are going to Psychic Storm here. Try and get rid of these aliens. Notice a different graphic to the Hellfire that was used by the Dark Angels. Now we've completed... Oh, we haven't completed our mission. It's fine. It's okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some Prometheum down here. We can. There we go. Good old Seneca. He's doing wonders with this flamer through this playthrough. I don't know what his total kills. Uh, I can check his total kill stats in a sec. Because for this playthrough, I've actually been keeping track of each Terminator's individual kills. A little bit obsessive, perhaps. But it makes for interesting reading later on. Right, let's have a look. How did we do? Actually, we're three or more Terminators. Oh, okay. Yeah, kills, those two in total. Cicero got five, that's pretty good. Seneca, 14, look at that, good lord. He's a beast. Got a relic heavy flamer as well. Does change my plans for what we're going to do with Brother Seneca. I was planning to move him over to the assault cannon soonish. But that extra ammo just means he's going to be able to fire all day long with that thing. And Flavius. Still to get off, Flavius has got the least kills in the squad so far, um, which isn't good, it's not good, let's face it, but we'll, we'll maybe change up his position next time. That fourth spot seems to be the worst spot for actually getting experience. Now, that was quite a quick mission, so we are going to play another one. Sharpen your sword edge. Secure a weapons cache and eliminate any gene sealer resistance. Okay. Going through the squad Cicero again. Let's have a look. In the wake of the explosion, the captain has ordered a withdrawal to the secondary defensive positions in the lower levels of the Space Hulk. On the way, the tech marines identified what appears to be an Astro Militarum Armorium, full of weapons and ammunition. Your squad has been ordered to capture this chamber and secure as much ammunition and equipment as you can. Your armor's or spec array shows gene sealer activity in the area. Prepare for battle. I'm not entirely sure what ammunition and arms the Astra Militarium would have. It would be of use to Terminators, but hmm, there you go, never mind. Okay, looks like it's a two-stage... Mission, secure the armory or eliminate all gene sealers, or is it secure the armory and eliminate the gene sealers? Hmm, important distinction, we'll have to see. So, let's deploy our squad. Oh, it didn't change Flavius, I meant to put Flavius further back. Never mind. Let's keep that order the same for now. Let's push forward. Picking up any signs, let's go to the large camera. Nothing, there's some uh, tech marine bits and pieces around here. Interesting. Push on up. Okay. 
Ooh, we've got a veritable horde of gene sealers already approaching us. So we're going to make camp in this room temporarily. Just to, you know, get things sorted. Alright, let's set Overwatch for those that can. Let the foul Xenos come to us. I meant to change his bolter, I wasn't very impressed with being Chaldean. You have to move back here. Don't like just having one space to shoot. Actually, we're going to protect Brother Nero this turn and take him off Overwatch. Turn him around so the next turn he can rush on in and start to protect from here. That wouldn't be a mission without. Oh, look at that, 11 ammo. Good lord. Without deploying flame in the Emperor's name. So there we go. That keeps us safe this turn. So we can actually move in now. Ooh, that's a good old swarm of them to start the mission, isn't there? Good lord. <clears throat> it's almost as if they're annoyed with me. Alright, so we're going to turn Flavius around. we put him on Overwatch here as well, so we've got two chances to kill whatever's coming this way. Reload there. Reload there, should have done that last turn. But never mind. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Death. What can humanity do against such reckless hate? Well, they can deploy the Astartes. And purge them with fire. Just like that. They are close. Beware the alien. Okay. And if we've got an opportunity to reload. Too badly. How many have we got? 36 left. We've got so much flame ammunition now. Darn it. It's hoping we won't be able to catch that one down there. Oh, we can. Look at that. <laughs> Seneca has so much ammunition I can afford to just waste it a little bit, I think. Bolt malfunction. It's okay because that means we get to do this. Not that, but this. There we go. <clears throat> Seneca again is going to have a huge kill tally here. He's actually the most effective killer in the squad at the moment. Um, out of all of them, he's killed the most, which is, I suppose, fitting as he is the heavy, the Devastator Marine. There we go. Okay. Hmm? No? Okay. What we're going to do is just wait, actually. We'll let them feed in this turn and get the XP for the other Terminators. Good lord. Is that Flavius or Felix there? I think that's Felix, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder what I'm going to do, because it's Flavius who needs the extra kills, what I'm going to do is swap these two over to give Flavius a, a shot if I can, which means I'm going to have to actually use Prescience to give him the extra AP so that he can actually go on Overwatch. There we go. Reload, cool down, back onto Overwatch. Can't do it this turn, okay, no worries. Reload, reload. You know what, I'm gonna let them come this turn. 
A bit risky, I know, but it's... I'm hoping it will get Flavius some kills, because he needs to start making a name for himself. Because he certainly isn't as effective a killer as um, the rest of his team. Not yet, anyway. Again, we're just going to leave... Leave Seneca and his flamer wanting for now. There we go, all over the god darn walls. You can see it. My well, gosh darn walls, I should say, perhaps. Emperor darned walls? Imperator darned walls? Yeah. Something like that. The machine spirits have answered my prayers. Oh, it's starting to thin out a bit. Maybe we can start to push out in a sec and actually move towards our primary objective. We've only got eight gene sealers left to kill. Uh, we're going to use our long shot again and. No, not quite. Okay. Oops, did I reload and cool down after these bolters? No, I did not. You know what, that's just... Too tempting a target, isn't it? I can't reach him with anybody. Do that, though. There you go. And that means next turn or two, we should be done. That was a very easy mission. I just hope I don't have to now stomp all the way over to the, uh, the other objective. There we go, another lot like the dust. Oh, one survived, good lord, look at that. And he burnt in the fire. Oh, and there we go. Mission done. Well, that objective's complete. But we do have to go and secure the armory. <sighs> so I wonder if we're going to get more gene sealers. Well, only one way to find out. Let's start our march forward. Pop ourselves into Overwatch, just in case something does decide to pop out at us. see anything on the scanners, so here's hoping. Nope, okay, so what we're going to do is let's prescience this business and go straight down this long corridor here. That's kind of an odd mission structure, normally they just give you the okay once you've killed as many gene sealers as you can. This time I'm actually going to make us do the whole shebang. Oh dear. Flavius doesn't quite have enough AP to keep up with his brothers and mine. No, still no more gene sealers, so I think we've killed everything that there is to kill. I'm going to have to give... Move a little bit shorter this turn, so that um, Flavius can catch up. In the eternal conga line. And again. I wonder if it's because he's out of range or something. That might be it, mine to. Good lord, look at all these spawn points they have to throw at you. Seems a shame actually. They set up all these elaborate spawn points and choke points and things like that, where you can just stay in that end room and slaughter everything very, very easily. <clears throat> Got one more AP to use, let's shuffle everybody forward one more. Nearly at the Armorium. There it is. Oh, so there's no door there. That's silly of me.
Er, I wonder if there's one through this way. You wait and watch. I'm going to suddenly get swarmed by Gene Sealers, aren't we? No, okay. Really? Oh wow, that's that's some convoluted route you have to take to get to this place, isn't it? Along these abandoned corridors. Nearly there. So close. There we go. And last turn with any luck. And secure. There we go. Done and done. See how we did. 23 turns. How many kills though? That is the question. Not bad. Not bad. Eight. Looks like it's Flavius got seven, so I wonder if Flavius is gonna level. No, not quite. That's a shame. Okay, never mind. Nero only got one this time. Naughty Nero. Okay, we've got another last stand by the looks of it. And strike when the enemy is weak. Cool. So next time we're going to do this. Oh, Felix leveled. Keep it with the Storm Bolter because the other ones just don't seem worth it. Going to level his Ballistic skill up. Motion detector and proximity mine, that's right. Still you got that one skill slot, which is interesting. Pretty sure we were getting more skills with the Dark Angels. Could be misremembering it, of course. Before I forget, we are going to swap out the Incaldian for the standard Storm Bolter again. It just doesn't seem to be as effective. Probably my imagination. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Kind of an odd end to it there. But um, that's space hold for you. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or criticisms either below the video or on any of my social media or the links are in the description. Um, if you'd like to suggest any games you'd like to see me play, you can also contact me through, again, social media or beneath the video. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And I shall see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.